The pamphlet said that this is the part of the Prokarya galaxy where bacterial ships come to swap information. But all I see is the vast abyss of space. Well, while we wait for the ships to show up, let's think about this question for a second. Why would bacteria even swap information in the first place? Well, if you recall, bacteria reproduce via binary fission, where a bacterium splits into two to make a genetically identical copy of itself. But since the original cell and its copy have the exact same genetic information, binary fission doesn't generally result in genetic variation. And genetic variation is key for the survival of any species if they want to be able to adapt to changing conditions. Enter bacterial recombination. Bacterial recombination is the transfer of DNA from one bacterium to another to create genetic diversity. It occurs in three main ways, transformation, conjugation, and transduction. The first type of bacterial recombination that we'll cover is transformation, which is depicted by this bacterial alien transforming into a werewolf. Transformation occurs when foreign DNA from the environment is integrated into the genome of the bacterial host cell. This genetic material most often comes from other bacteria that were lysed. At Sketchy, we use the color blue to symbolize DNA. And that explains why this bacterial werewolf is munching on the blue guts of a, um, lysed alien from outside his ship. Next up is conjugation. And is that, is that the sultry base of the SS conjugal? Moo la la. This sexy ship is here to remind you of conjugation. Conjugation is the transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another. It's basically the prokaryotic form of sexual reproduction. And you can see things are really heating up between these two ships. Looks like we caught the mid-transfer. Bow chicka wow wow. Now, I'm not usually one for invading a private moment, but let's take a closer look at these ships. In conjugation, the bacterium that shares the genetic material is called the donor male, while the bacterium receiving it is the recipient female. Hence the male symbol on the spacecraft that's sharing the blue material and the female symbol on the ship that's receiving it. Now, this is probably already apparent, but this sharing of genetic material happens via direct contact between two cells. You see, the donor male has an appendage called the sex pillus that facilitates the transfer of DNA to the recipient female. That's why this uh, questionably shaped pillar is transferring blue material from the male ship to the female ship. Whew. Is it hot out here? It feels hot out here. Okay, but there's a catch here, because not all bacteria can form a sex pillus. Only cells that have a special chunk of DNA called the fertility factor, or F factor, can synthesize the proteins that make up the sex pillus. That means that, by definition, any bacterial cell with F factor is a donor male. You can remember that with Planet F's big blue DNA ring depicted inside the male ship. Now, if the F factor happens to be transferred during conjugation, the recipient female actually turns into a donor male, and that means it can make its very own sex pillus and transfer DNA to other bacteria. That brings us to the last type of bacterial recombination that we'll cover, transduction, which you can remember with the trans duct tape on this invader ship. Transduction occurs when a virus that infects bacteria, which is called a bacteriophage, transfers genetic material from one bacterium to another. That's why this phage ship is stealing blue material from one bacterial ship and heading towards another. Recall that bacteriophages, like all viruses, can only reproduce inside of a host cell. Well, since these viruses are made inside the host and therefore near the genetic material of the host, the new generation of viruses can accidentally incorporate a piece of bacterial DNA into their own viral genome when they're being assembled. When one of these phages infects another bacterium, it releases this mix of viral and bacterial genes into the new host cell. And voila, new genes for the host. And that's it. Now that we've covered the three main ways bacterial recombination happens, I'm getting out of here before the SS conjugal starts steaming up. So, see you next time. <laughs>